go to an on learning results the ces video series for creating projects that integrate computing with the world around us using arduino uno through this video series we aim to introduce you to the world of physical computing and the internet of things hello everyone i am ayush shankaran an enthusiastic coder and a regular cel hackathon participant i will be your host for today welcome to the first episode of the series blink in this episode we are going to make an led light blink using code physical computing refers to the use of tangible embedded microcontroller based interactive systems that can sense the world around them and or control outputs such as lights displays and motors human interaction plays a pivotal role in making these systems examples include smart automotive traffic control systems factory automation home automation smart wearables such as a smart watch etc all these are a subset of embedded systems and the internet of things we will be using the arduino uno r3 microcontroller in our projects the cel physical computing kit provides all these things we need to code our projects in one place but you can also get these items locally or use the ones you have at home to code the project let us see what the cel physical computing kit contains we have a physical computing guide which provides detailed information and codes for all our projects we have the connector to connect our microcontroller to the computer we have the arduino uno r3 microcontroller then we have the jumper wires this is the breadboard where we will connect all our components such as the leds and wires this is the humidity and temperature sensor this is the servo motor this is the ultrasonic sensor this is the ic bluetooth module this packet contains the buzzer resistor led etc today we make an led light to blink in our project let us look at the components we will need for our project we will need the arduino microprocessor the breadboard the jumper wires the led light and the cable to connect the computer we will connect two jumper wires to the arduino digital pw one to pin 7 and the other to g and d which stands for ground next we will make a socket connection to the breadboard which will look like this we can connect the led to the jumper wires through any of the vertical connections as shown the led has two legs the long leg is the positive leg the short leg is the negative leg connect pin 7 to the long leg and gnd to the short leg of the led Finally, connect the Arduino to your computer using the connector cable. You will 
will see that the Arduino board lights up when connected. This completes the setup of our hardware components. Next, we will move on to coding our project. We go to the website mblocks.cc. Here, we go to the download section. We can open mblocks using the web or desktop or mobile version. Here, I am going to use the web version today. For which, we need to download the mlink driver. You can download and install mlink in your system. Once done, you can see the mlink shortcut on your desktop. Clicking on it will open a browser window with a new project. Once inside the project, you can rename the project to Blink. You can click on the top right of the screen to log into your account. If you are a first time user, you can sign up to create your account. Since I have an account already, I will log in using Google. Now, I can see this drop down where all my projects will be saved. Now, we will connect the Arduino to our project. I click on the Add button and select Arduino Uno from the list. Once selected, I need to connect Arduino to our project by clicking the connect button. Now, I see that our device is connected to our project. Now, let's code our project. mBlocks allows coding using blocks or the Arduino C programming language. I am going to open the Arduino C editor here. So you can see how the code can be written in C language as well. From events, I bring the block when Arduino starts up. As you can see, the corresponding start up codes have been in included in the Arduino C language. Since we want the LED to blink all the time, I will bring a forever code. You can see that a while loop has been created in C language. Next, we go to the pin and set the pin 7 output to high, which means on. The corresponding code in C comes up, where 1 refers to high. Then, we wait for 0.5 seconds and again repeat the blocks. This time, pin 7 set to low, which means off. The same codes have been translated in C language and look like this. Now that we have written the code, let us upload it to the Arduino processor by clicking the upload button. As you can see, the code has been uploaded. The LED light should now blink, which looks like this. Let us change the code a bit by changing the weight to 0.1 seconds. If you make any changes, you need to upload the code again. The upload is successful. Now you can see that the LED is blinking faster. This brings us to the end of our first project. So that's our program working perfectly fine. When working with circuits for the first time, you may have difficulty making the project work the first time itself. Don't give up just yet. Try connecting the wires again, recheck your connections and I am sure that you will get it right shortly. 
in the next episode we will be creating another game called the blink and buzzer till then stay tuned this is ayush signing off bye